Betty was in the hospital. She had an operation. The doctor took out her tonsils. After the operation, Betty couldn't talk because her throat hurt. Betty, please take rest, okay? Don't talk for two days, okay? The next morning, mother and father brought crayons and paper for Betty. Hi, Mama. Don't try to talk. You can draw pictures, okay? So Betty began to draw pictures. Betty drew pictures to ask for help. You need apple? I will bring it for you. She drew pictures to tell things. She also drew pictures for fun. She stuck these pictures on the wall behind her hospital bed. How wonderful the wall looked. Before Betty left the hospital, she had a good idea. Papa, I will leave the crayons here. Other people can use it. She also left the pictures on the wall. The other children in the hospital ward felt cheerful looking at the wall. Then Betty went home. She wanted to draw and draw. Betty liked to draw more than anything. She drew pictures on the sidewalk with chalk. She drew pictures in the air with her finger. She drew pictures in the sand with shells. <coughs> Betty's mother and father gave her a new box of crayons and lots of paper for her birthday. Happy birthday, dear Betty. Thank you. She drew every day. She practiced drawing before school. She practiced drawing after doing her homework. She practiced drawing before going to the bed. When Betty grew up, she became an artist and an art teacher. Her drawings are very colorful. All her students love her. Now Betty brings crayons and paper to the boys and girls who are in the hospital. She also teaches them how to draw. <coughs> Maybe one of them will grow up to be an artist just like Betty.